This is the rumor train. Hey, Dan. Heather. Did you hear about uh, Iron Horse Festival this year? Uh, no, I did not. I heard a rumor. Ooh, dish. I heard that they're not going to be on Talbot Street this year. Seriously? Yeah. Talbot Street is never cleaner than when Iron Horse Festival comes I to downtown. Know. And and it's a great thing to have on the street. It's it great is. for business. So we're going to have to find out where they're going. Oh, well, stay tuned. We'll find out about this rumor. Well, ideally, downtown St. Thomas is where Iron Horse Festival has always been held. Whenever it's had to move out, it hasn't been as successful. Um, the Railway Lands is an ideal place for something called Iron Horse Festival. So we're getting closer to that thing. The, the answer this year is the Ross and Talbot Corner. It will be the main area for Iron Horse Festival. We'll use some of the back parking lots, but it's uh, adjacent to the railway land, so Iron Horse Festival works. The tourism train can run out of the station and also be involved downtown, but it also allows the merchants downtown to be able to sell their goods and be involved in Iron Horse by having their businesses open. Dan, I was reading the other day about uh, Elton County maybe getting their own school board. No. Yeah. Rumor? Rumor. Or truth? Well, I think it's a rumor. Okay. Maybe we'll have to talk to Jeff Urich. I bet he, he could give us an answer. Jeff would know for sure. Stay tuned. We'll have the MPP let us know. There are a number of folks here in Elgin County that are interested in seeing an Elgin County school board again. Um, your thoughts on that and, and what, uh, if that's a viable process or if there's something else that they should be doing. Well, uh, two things. Uh, one, I spoke to the people of Elgin County. I said, contact the Ministry of Education, have that discussion uh, if they're open to that, because we are reviewing everything in the government to uh, make uh, Ontario open for business, but make it more responding to people. Uh, but I think the main thing is we need to get the message across to the government is the current school board structure as it sits today does not suit rural Ontario. We need a better voice at the table. That's great. Thanks, Jeff. We appreciate you uh, being here and uh, maybe you'll become a regular on the show as we have <laughs> lots of rumors to derail around the city. So thank I you so much. Hey, Dan, I was uh, coming in on Highbury Ave into the city uh, earlier today and I, I noticed there's some new signs out in the Highbury Industrial Park. Do you know what's going on? Uh, aren't they building a soccer field? Well, no, this is, this is across from Messenger and oh, Takumi. No. That whole swath of land that was uh, for sale Rumor has it, there might be something coming to town. You think? Yeah. Well, there's some new signs up. I think we're going to have to see if uh, Sean Dyke's around from Economic Development. Maybe he can give us an answer. Either yeah, That would be good. Either that or somebody just, you know, fixing the street. Well, maybe. But Sean would know. We'll have to find Sean. We'll check in with Sean Dyke. Stay tuned. Understandably, we've heard that people are curious about what's happening with the land that I'm standing on right now. Uh, this is about 14 acres that used to be owned by the city of St. Thomas, uh, ideally to be developed for industrial use. Uh, this month, we're in the process of selling it to a company called Vicano, uh, which is a development firm that will be constructing some industrial facilities on the site. Uh, we're really excited. We were in an interesting position that we haven't seen in a number of years here, where we effectively ran out of industrial space for lease at any size that was relevant to the questions we were getting. So Vicano came along and we, we were able to sell them some property. We're anticipating some, some building taking place on the site shortly. Uh, we're still actually in the sales process for the, for the property. Once that all goes through, there are a number of interested parties right now. Uh, and then the company may also build some on spec, which just means that they'll put some buildings up that could be used, utilized by various companies in the future. We've been, we've been getting a lot of questions from industry locally uh, questions from companies that want to expand or who need extra space just to do something little or something temporary that they weren't able to do in their existing facilities. And the potential is that this site could, could help serve that purpose.